Shalom. First and foremost, we give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kodash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. Also, we give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And also want to send out the hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so and never awaken up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another spiritual spill. And as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit and at best, I'll quote precepts. Okay, now what I want to touch on a little bit briefly, you know what I'm saying, is that whole fiasco that happened out there at that Alabama pier or Alabama uh, boat, uh, boat dock. Okay, and they calling the guy, <laughs> they calling the Jake that jumped off the boat and swam to the other guy's uh, assistance, okay? Uh, Aquaman, <laughs> Alabama Aquaman, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I've been hearing, you know, this, this vibration, you know, of, uh, of, of people. Well, more specifically, you know, I was listening to The Breakfast Club this morning uh, and DJ Envy, you know, him and uh, I think it was Claudia Jordan. And they were basically, you know, yeah, Jake, Jake need a uh, need a makeover, like a full makeover, meaning destruction, okay? Because um, you know they were basically going into how, you know, it's, it's good to see, you know, brothers come to the other brothers' assistance, and and we need to we need to come together. We need to support each other more than just when it comes to fighting and this and that and that and the third, okay? Which I. I actually goes all the way against uh, the prophecies and what the scriptures say, okay? And the reality is, it's a farce. It's not going to happen, okay? Uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 on down, speaks about the curses that have befallen us before our disobedience. And you how about Shemiah Shai, okay? And one of those curses is that our eyes will be evil uh, towards our brother, okay? Now, those of us, okay, that are sincerely walking in this faith, and have come back to repentance uh, to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, we've pretty much disannulled. Okay, that aspect of the of the curses. Okay, because you see what uh, brothers dwelling in, in in perfect unity. Okay, now there may be you know uh, instances where things have to get hashed out. Okay, but for the most part, you got Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans dwelling in unison in unity. Okay, and have fervent love for one another. Okay. And ultimately obedience is what disannuls the curses. Okay. Now some of the curses, hey, we just have to wait for prophecy to be fulfilled. Like us Esau having his foot on our neck, you know, that, that we, we can't run from that. Okay. We just have to deal with it accordingly, you know, and, and continue, hey, and put on like the scriptures say, uh Yahweh Shai said, put on his yoke, his burden, his uh his yoke is light and his burden is easy. You know, roughly paraphrasing, hope I didn't mix that up, but you know, <clears throat> but um, the, 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 the vibration of us coming together and you know, uh, you know, uh, Jake uh, uplifting one another, that ain't gonna happen, okay? Now what you saw was uh, opportunity for, you know, <laughs> Jake to beat up on some goddamn Edomites, okay? Which we all are licking our chops to do, but there's a difference, okay? Uh, we're not carnally minded. You know, a brother in the faith, in his truth, okay, uh, more specifically of Great Millstone or those who follow the same doctrine, would not have jumped off a boat to swim over there to go help Jake, okay? Why? Because the scriptures say to be carnally minded is death. What if one of those Edomites had a pistol, you know, and started shooting the shit out of Jake, you know? <laughs> that would have made, you know, everything much more uh, vivid, you know, to say the least, you know? But the, the fact of the matter is Jake is not coming together, okay? You see, uh, uh, you know, uh, these people, you know, yeah, yeah, man, we coming together. You, you hear the, the, the nigga woman in the video narrating, whoa, yeah, yeah, that was a game, yeah, yeah. You know, that just was a bunch of monkey business, man, you know, at the end of the day, you know? And the only thing that I was able to take from that, okay, the only thing that I was able to take from that uh, was the fact that, hey, Genesis 25, Okay, but we don't need to see a bunch of uh, uh, black people, okay, <laughs> so-called black people, uh, jump all over some Edomites to prove uh, Genesis 25 
uh, I forget, uh, maybe around the 24th, 25th verse, where it speaks about uh, two nations are uh, uh, two nations are in their womb, and they shall be separated. One people shall be stronger than the other. Okay, and I need you know uh, that incidents to show me that, but that's all. Like, that's what I took from it. Okay, and and obviously, if we were to teach on that matter, that's what we would teach. Okay, this is an example of us being stronger than you know other people, than 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 the Edomites. Okay, the so-called white man. Okay, that's it. That's all. But as far as this notion about <clears throat> Israelites coming together, and <clears throat> well, Salakia so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans coming together for the greater cause, it ain't gonna happen. Because the reality is, things are rapidly getting worse, okay? Um, there's pressure coming from above, and there's pressure coming from beneath, okay? And the, uh, the middle class and the poor, and the poor, okay, which middle class and poor are pretty much synonymous, okay? There's no middle class, there's rich, and then there's poor, okay? And if you're not making over a million dollars then you're poor okay and i say that in all humility you know uh, <clears throat> why because this whole uh vibration of having uh three classes of uh, the rich poor i mean rich middle class and poor was all uh psyop uh, for lack of better words you know <clears throat> but uh the reality is things are getting harsh okay times are getting worse and um you know Imagine when uh, rations are getting low, the food trucks stop rolling in, okay? Uh, uh, you know, when civil unrest takes place, okay? And, and another thing, there, when, when the scriptures speak about race wars, okay, it's not speaking about uh, Jake or Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans coming together to fight against Edomites. Or, or, or Moabites, the Chinese fighting against uh, the Japanese. No, no, no. Okay. The times that are coming, everybody is going to be adverse to everybody. Okay. Uh, the scriptures speak about that when you read, uh, what's that? I believe it's in 2 Ezra 16 or 15 uh, about uh, um, men's house shall be ravished. Okay. Before, because of the lack of bread. Okay. There's going to be sedition amongst men, you know, and it's going to be dog eat dog. You mean to tell me Tyrone and 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 and, and Manuel or, or Javier are gonna fucking come together? You know when rations are low and it's dog eat dog? Absolutely not. Okay, that totally goes against what the scriptures say. Okay, you see a tension now between uh, uh, Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom. Okay, meaning Judah, Levi, Benjamin, and then the other uh, uh, the other uh, the native. Uh, and, and indigenous uh, tribes, okay? The Latinos and the uh, Native Americans and Seminole, Indi Seminole Indians. You see a, a, a disdain or, a, a, or a, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, basically like a racial, racial bias, okay? And here in Miami, man, it, it, we have all 12 tribes here, really all nations. Okay, this is an absolute melting pot. We call Miami itself Little Samaria, okay? Because it's, I believe, 78 to 80% uh, Hispanic, so-called Hispanic, okay? And there is an absolute vibration of racism here, okay? Northern tribe does not fool with Southern tribe here, okay? And if they do, it's on some wicked shit, you know, selling dope, selling this, you know, doing that, you know, uh, like the scriptures say, uh, to do to do evil, they say to do good. They're wise, they're wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. You see. <clears throat> so yeah, yeah, you know that whole notion of, you know, it, us coming together. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. Okay, only the elect of the nation real are gonna come together. The Lord is going to uh, ultimately send His Son back. Okay, with absolute destruction, the nuclear missiles will fly. And that's how ultimately the nation of Israel will come back together and be in unison. No other way. Why? Because the scriptures say so and it's prophetical. Okay. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to touch on that real briefly, real briefly. You know, and, uh, let's stay locked in, brothers. Let's stay locked in. Okay. It's happening. So, uh, uh,
Kwame Yashirali and the Baba Ball. Shalom.